Hi, this is a 28 foot classy custom build tiny house. It was custom built in 2018. The exterior includes Dutch lap siding with cedar shingle accents around the loft windows and on either end of the tiny house. On this side of the exterior, there's a window that provides natural light into the living room area. And there's also windows in the sleeping loft area that provides some natural light. On the hitch end, there's a small transom window that provides natural light into the bathroom area on the inside. This tiny house has a mini split system for heating and cooling. The system has a separate breaker on the exterior. There are two options for electric hookup for this particular tiny house. There's a junction box located underneath for hardwire or also an option for RV hookup. In addition, there's an exterior storage box. All of the utilities are located on the hitch end. The tiny house does have a metal roof. It is a triple axle. Moving around to the end is where the front entrance is located. Also with another window that allows for natural light into the living room area. On the exterior, another window on this side provides natural light into the kitchen as well as windows in the sleeping loft. There is a four foot cedar plank front porch, provides covering over the front door. and there is exterior lighting. On the front porch, as well as an outdoor outlet, which gives you an option for plugging in outdoor lights, holiday lights, Coming into the tiny house, you come into the living area. There's sofa on one side. Both cushions open to reveal additional storage. As well as 
says the sofa is on legs, so that area can also be used as storage underneath. All of the windows have blinds. The interior walls and ceiling are tongue and groove. Right across from the sofa is the wall mounted TV. In addition, all of the lighting and the tiny are on dimmer switches downstairs as well as up in the loft. There's open shelving you can use to display collectibles or over in the kitchen area used to store dishes. This particular tiny has stairs up to the sleeping loft. Underneath the stairs provides a lot of storage. There's some open cubbies again that can be used as collectible display areas. The bottom step of the stairs, the top comes off if you need to hide valuables, can actually act as a, a hidey hole. The sleeping loft fits a queen size bed. There's a outlets on both sides of the mattress on the right and the left. This half wall kind of provides privacy to the sleeping loft and it also provides some storage area or again display area for collectibles kind of a decorative accent there's laminate flooring throughout the tiny house Right across from the stairs is the kitchen. There's white shaker cabinets and granite countertop. There's white subway tile backsplash. The granite is extended to provide a little workstation area or an area to eat meals. It's a four burner range. It also has an exhaust hood. Right across from the range is your refrigerator and freezer, which is placed on a little box just to make it a little bit higher, easier to get items in and out of the refrigerator. And the box can actually serve as storage so again, some more additional storage. The air exchange unit is installed underneath the stairs as well, along with the microwave. The pallet wood barn door reveals the bathroom. On the back side of the barn door is a full length mirror. Again, shaker cabinet, granite countertop, flushing toilet. The shower is fiberglass with glass panels. Right across, it's about a four foot area, can use it as a closet. Has storage up at the top, room for hanging clothes. 
two shelves, and then again storage underneath those shelves. Three drawers, kind of act as a dresser, again just for storage. And there is a stackable washer and dryer. The transom window in the bathroom is nice. It provides some natural light, but it's also high enough. It still provides a lot of privacy. Again, open shelving for storage.